students, uh, I think you all have your caps in your bags. So you may put it on. It will be look uh, really nice. Thank you.
Ya'ni kompyuter va dasturi injiniring hamda logistika yo'nalishlari bo'yicha o'tkaziladi. Imtihon savollarining barchasi Koreya Respublikasidagi Infra universiteti professorlari tomonidan tayyorlangan. Savolnomalar Koreya Respublikasidan muhrlangan qutida olib kelinib, imtihonlar boshlanishidan avval bevosita imtihon xonasida ochiladi va abituriyentlarga tarqatiladi. Shaffoflikni ta'minlash uchun universitet internetdagi o'z sahifasida kirish imtihonlarini onlayn translyatsiyasini tashkil qildi. Imtihonlardan keyin koreyalik mutaxassislar barcha imtihon savolnomalarini yig'ib olib, kirish imtihonlari natijasini yakunlash uchun Koreya Respublikasiga jo'natishadi. 2017-yilda O'zbekistonning turli hududlaridan qarib 2500 nafar abituriyentlar kirish imtihonlariga o'tish uchun universitetning onlayn tizimida ro'yxatdan o'tdi. Ularda natija 1358 nafar imtihonga kiritildi. Imtihon yakunlariga ko'ra esa Inha universiteti 400 nafar talabani qabul qildi. Ulardan 300 nafari kompyuter va dasturlash injineringi fakultetida, 100 nafari esa logistika yo'nalishida o'qimoqda. Injineering fakultetida bir o'ringa 3 dan ortiq, logistika fakultetida esa bir o'ringa 4 dan ziyod davolgar bo'ldi. Hozirgi paytda kompyuter injineringi fakultetida tahsil olish uchun kontrakt qiymati 21 million 50 ming so'mni, logistika fakultetida esa 22 million 100 ming so'mni tashkil etadi. Universitet talabalariga stipendiya bermaydi, lekin rag'batlantirish tizimi mavjud. Har semestr natijasi bo'yicha universitet har bir kursdan imtihonlarda eng yuqori ball olgan va o'qish davrida o'zini ijobiy tomondan namoyon qilgan 10 nafar eng yaxshi talabani aniqlaydi va bu talabalar keyingi semestr davomida
So, first of all, we would like to ask our rector, uh, Muzaffar Muhyiddin Jalalov, to have a speech for you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good afternoon, dear our freshmen. I'm very happy to see you all here uh, in, uh, in the University in Tashkent. Uh, I'm sure that 99% uh, of you who are sitting here are first time here and um, I, I saw that some of you, some, some of them uh, who came today for freshmen, uh, they couldn't enter and they are now in the first floor but I, I also greet them uh, before coming to you. So this is the for me, third time uh, standing here and uh, welcoming our freshmen uh, in, the, in the University in Tashkent. First of all, I would like to congratulate all you with uh, this uh, wonderful um, how to say, occasion uh, that you became a, a student, one, one of us, as, as we say. So this is the big honor uh, to us as well, as well to you, because you will from, from now representing uh, in a university in Tashkent, not only in Uzbekistan, but also all over the world. So, let me say something to you. Uh, have you ever heard any uh, university who grade its freshmen like this? I haven't seen or I haven't heard any news even who, which, um, for example, some universities or uh, grade their students in this way. Um, for us, of course, not only other universities as students, but also our own students, uh, the sophomores uh, as well as uh, juniors, uh, seniors, they're all jealous to you. Uh, I hope with a wide jealous uh, that they are grating. Um, IUT is grating like this, so they are standing there and they are watching. Are there any, any possibilities to get some gift for them? But I hope that there will be, uh, because serving and working uh, with, with us, uh, with uh, IUT staff, uh, like, and uh, working as a volunteer in some events, it's not all the, not everyone can be, uh, can be proud of. 
So we are very proud of our volunteers. We are very proud of our staff. And especially, we are very proud of our professors. You will already start meeting them a couple of weeks ago. And you already watch their mo uh, videos. I'm sorry, I want to say movies. Um, but the videos, probably, uh, yeah, there are some maybe mistakes sometimes with their pronunciation because they're foreigners. You may not understand what they are talking about, but once a week there is a chance to meet them by Zoom and ask the, whatever questions you are interested in. So, that I'm, um, when, when I was just appointed to in the University in Tashkent, uh, I was only 32, and um, it was uh, like a, uh, first time in the history of Uzbekistan appointing such a young uh, rector. And as you can see that the, our president is uh, risking, and he's trying some, uh, he's saying, why not, let's try, and uh, he's giving big responsibility. And of course, in, within these two years, uh, for me it wasn't like two years, it was like ten years, uh, because uh, uh, not, I'm, I also grown up, uh, not only uh, age, but also in many areas, I, I had to uh, learn for myself. So I also wish you, if you try your best, uh, you will become very successful expert, a very successful specialist, not only in Uzbekistan and all over the world. Surely, within this, these two years, uh, we were facing, uh, where we are now, and of course we will, some problems, some issues. Um, some of them you heard about, uh, you know, their diploma is something wrong with it, or, or something wrong with accreditation. Do not believe. Our students, they are doing very fine all outside of Uzbekistan as well. If some countries, just sm small number of countries, have some very conservative rules, which we are already start passing through, uh, it doesn't mean that these universities diploma or accreditation has some problem. We, are, we don't have any problem. Of course we have some issues which can be solved uh, in, within some time. Last year we, when we visit uh, Korea uh, with the IUT delegation, we've spoken uh, with uh, uh, inner universities uh, management and finally we solved that issue with, uh, related with the diploma. Now from Last year, our students are receiving two diplomas, one from IUT, another from the Korea in the university. I think uh, this is the great chance. And we not just sitting and waiting when this pandemic will finish and everybody will you know, start working. No, we were renovating our campus. Um, we renovated our stadium, basketball areas, uh, classroom. Uh, within a couple of months, we will renovate our first floor in the a, building A, uh, where we'll be co-working center for our students as well. Because the, our, the current students, they will know that what kind of issues they have, such as the space issue or etc. However, I will not talk too much because it's really uh, sometimes annoying sitting there for hours and waiting when somebody finishes their speech. So. Our staff, they will start making presentation. They will pre present their contacts. Please, you can come to, to their office anytime, uh, to our uh, vice rector's office. And if they cannot solve some issues, of course, my office is, is always open. Uh, I have the Telegram board. Uh, surely, the student affairs will pro provide that uh, address. You can write directly. Uh, so I wish you strong health, all the best to you and to your and family as well. Good luck. Dear students, we ask now our first vice rector, Dr. Lee, to the scene for, the, for his motivational speech.
Good afternoon. Uh, our Fresher Student of the Year 2020. I am the Professor Dongwon Lee, the first Vice Rector in charge of the Academic Affairs of the Inner University in Tashkent. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the President of Inner University in Korea, I extend a very warm welcome to you all. I'm very pleased to note that you have entered the pedestal of this great university with a lot of enthusiasm and determination to undergo academic courses and to become successful professionals in the area of IT engineering and logistics management. Since our respected rector gave you a great welcome speech, I would like to share my personal experience with you today, what my old professor told me in my first year of my college. Uh, IUT is one of the best universities in Uzbekistan, as you know. Each one of you must be a student with good grades and high pride. In addition to that, now you have been given the freedom as a gift when you have graduated from high school. You are the person with good grades, high pride, and freedom. I also entered one of the best universities in Korea. At that time, so was I. But as time went by, I had realized and learned that I must choose something similar, but very different from these three considering my parents and the society had made me a lot of investment and interested the future to me. First, the difference between the result-oriented and performance-oriented thinking. I had tried my best to get results and grades, which are the outcome of expected inputs achieved by a given system and evaluation criteria. However, I realized that performance was more important, which refers to, in the dictionary, what is achieved as a result of doubting and developing an existing process and method. I want you to be a student who always think about performance rather than just about the result or grade only. Your life is like a unique picture, consisting of your questions and answers that you draw on a white paper. The picture you are drawing from now on will determine the shape of your life. Second, the difference between pride and self-esteem. I want you to pose an attitude out of self-esteem, not the pride. Pride is the respect that others have for you. It's often about being evaluated and appreciated by other people's criteria. However, self-esteem is your own dignity, gained by mature thought and values within you. It's not the result of external recognition or praise from others. People with high self-esteem, look for causes and effects from themselves. However, people with strong pride look for causes and effects from others. I want you to challenge yourself rather than comparing yourself with others. People who compare themselves with others are not happy because whenever they encounter someone better than themselves, despair and envy hold on to and shake them. I hope that you do not look around at others, but keep moving toward your own dream. Because those who look toward your dream will not lose your hope. They can fail sometimes, but never give up and finally make their dream come true. 
Third, the difference between freedom and autonomy. There seems to be no difference between freedom and autonomy. But they are almost the opposite. Freedom has the meaning of being free from external restraints and acting as you please. On the other hand, autonomy means the ability to make your own decisions about what to do with self-control. Any organization requires its members to act autonomously rather than giving them unconditional freedom. This autonomy that follows the rules of the organization fulfills its responsibilities and contributes to value creation. In other words, people who find their own work and complete their task not because someone told them to do so are the autonomous talents that organizations need. If you were to pick one of the companies around the world that gives employees the most freedom, it would be Google, as you know. This company is selected as the great workplace each year. The best employee here doesn't mean just a smart person. A high degree of professionalism in one's job field is fundamental. And it means a person who has the ability to make the company and those around him be successful. It would be more accurate to say that the Google is not a company that gives freedom, but rather a company that hires employees who work autonomously. To be honest with you, even now, facing the three differences mentioned above, I'm still repeating my regretful choices. However, I hope that you will grow into a performance-oriented, self-esteemed, and autonomous citizen going through your college life at IUT. All professors at IUT will make every effort to be with you in your journey of growth and change. I wish all a very wonderful, highly fruitful, and most enjoyable period of study at IUT. Once again, congratulations on your fresh start at IUT. Thank you, each one of you all. Gata Rafma. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Now uh, we ask uh, our Vice Rector, Turdumurat Mohamed Gulovic Turdumuratov, to have a presentation for you. Assalamu alaikum, hurmatli birinchi kursga kelgan talabalar, hurmatli ota-onalar. Sizlarni mana shunday bir nufuzli mamlakatimizda IT texnologiyalari bo'yicha bir yetakchi o'rinlarda ketayotgan Inha universiteti, Toshkent shahridagi Inha universiteti talabalari bo'lganlaringiz bilan chin qalbdan tabriklayman. Shu bilan birga ko'p universitetlarda shu birinchi kursda yo birinchi darsi shu mustaqillik darsi deb ataladi. Bugun mana shu imkoniyatdan foydalanib mamlakatimizda mustaqillik bayramini yaqinda nishonladik. Sizlarni hammalaringizni mana shu bayram bilan ham tabriklayman. Mustaqillik bizga juda ko'p narsalar berdi. Mana shu eng asosiy bir ko'zga ko'ringan natijalardan bittasi mana shu bizda universitet sababi mustaqillik bo'lishimizdan oldin bugungi kun to'g'risida orzu qilish ham juda qiyin edi. Endi Mana shu universitetda men 4.5 yildan buyon ishlayotgan bo'lsam, juda ham meni quvontiradigan narsa, bu kelgan talabalarimizda juda ham bir talanti yuqoriligi qolaversa, ularda mana shu doim o'zini ustida ishlashi, shu bilan birga bizda universitetda olib borilayotgan ishlar 
Hamas şeffaf ve halal bir hiç kanaka bir e, natoğru iş bu muyatkanı elbette bizi de küçük yeradı. E, biz de üçte tılam elbette işçi tılı, asasi tıl, İngiliz tılı da, kolay yürse devlet tılı, uzbi tılı da biz de ona e, Avrupa grupa, Avrupa grupa stan kegen Rus tılı da okuyatkanlar buladı. Ne no, ma bu gendiyem? Biz bitti aile biz, bana şu ailege hoş gelip sizler. E, Let me introduce uh, our departments. Uh, I am vice rector of. Uh, before we used uh, name of uh, the, my position like spirituality enlightenment, but now it's uh, changed. Uh, it's a uh, uh, vice rector for work with youth and students. So our uh, department, I mean our. Can you uh, switch on? Uh, okay. Uh, university to work with youth. Uh, you, we are working several departments: uh, Student Affairs Division, uh, Department of Spirituality and Enlightenment, Information Resource Center, Medical Department. It's uh, these departments also including uh, activities, uh, the psychologists and also sport trainers. There, all of them work closely with you. And uh, you can contact any time. Already our rector mentioned, mentioned that uh, firstly you have to go to uh, student affairs and uh, vice rectors and also all doors open from uh, rectors and other uh, vice rectors. You can contact the student affairs division on all issues. And uh, they, uh, they will definitely help you in cooperation with the other relevant departments. If you want to show your skills, it doesn't matter. It can be in IT sphere, or uh, sports, arts, and other fields. The student union with your youth union will help you closely together uh, with the department. University, uh, universities work with uh, youth also including Uh, I mentioned already uh, that the health of yourself and your classmates is very important for us. Please don't uh, be indifferent to this issue when necessary. If you uh, or any of your classmates get sick, you should immediately inform at least uh, our doctor, your curator, our student affairs, representatives uh, or at least uh, ambulance. Our main issue, uh, our main goal, I would say, is uh, at our university uh, to, to ensure that our students receive a full education, become hardworking professionals, and become people who will contribute to the development of our nation in the future. For this, uh, they are freedom and all their rights are protected. At the same time, among all professors, teachers and staff of our university, a number of requirements are also imposed on students and they are required to comply with these requirements. Uh, we have special document which we call it ethical and internal rules of in a university in Tashkent. Compliance with the rules is mandatory for all of members of the IUT family. Everyone who is accepted as a student must read and sign the rules and undertake to comply with them. I uh, give you brief information about the, uh, this uh, document. For example, uh, section four, de devoted to interaction, be interaction between faculty, staff, and students. Uh, uh, just an example, if a student interfer interferes with uh, lessons by his uh, or her misconduct, the pro professor may uh, notify the university administration of the situation and with his uh, or her permission, expel such students from the classes. 
uh, I would say that, of course, we are international university. Everybody can uh, should uh, have to uh, feel free, but at the same time, we have to follow internal rules because it's our responsibility. Uh, interaction between staff, between professor and student, and also between students, very important for us. And uh, uh, also, uh, in another section, uh, everybody has to follow the next rules uh, in audience. For example, uh, in professors and staff, and uh, also your, your classmates asking, don't disturb using uh, phone or uh, communication uh, facilities. Not talking during classes, cultural, and, uh, t cultural attitude to the equipment, and uh, do not leave paper and other unnecessary things. Not eat, to eat, uh, not to chew gum. So it's very elementary things, but it, uh, all of them very important for us because we have to provide all uh, necessary uh, environment for everybody. And also uh, we have section five in public places, uh, follow the order of food, respect for teachers, women, and Elder, uh, elder, elderly in times on uh, congregation, no noise during meals, and so on. Uh, so uh, I, I think uh, we will be happy with working with you and everybody from our departments uh, always ready for us and we are asking uh, to talk directly to uh, members of our uh, departments, and uh, I am also ready to help you. Uh, we, have to, uh, we have to improve, we have to keep our image, and we have to be uh, always uh, on front line from education system in our country, but also outside. I wish again uh, all the best to you. My, uh, it's my pleasure to congratulate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Turtamurat Mohamed Kulovic. Now, dear students, because of some reasons, we uh, don't have a staff member from Academic Affairs. But anyways, we prepared your video with uh, details. Please watch this video carefully, because you can find lots of answers to your questions from this video. Thank you. Dear freshmen, hope you are staying safe and healthy during this unprecedented time. In first slide, you can see 2020-2021 academic calendar. 2024 semester starts in September 28. Each semester consists of 16 weeks. In fall semester, you will have two lecture surveys. The first lecture survey will be on October 26. In second lecture survey, will be on January 18th. In semester, you have one midterm exam and one final exam. Your first midterm exam will be conducted on eighth week. It will start on November 16th. The final exam will be held on 16th week. It will start on January 11th. The winter vacation will start on January 18th and it will end on February 5th. On February 8th, we'll start new 2021 spring semester. And in previous semester, you will have two lecture surveys. Also, you will have midterm exam and final exam. IoT adopts credit system as many universities around the world. An academic credit system is a standard used by the universities to measure and access a student's work and effort during their bachelor, master's, PhD program. Credit is a unit for course completion. One credit equal one lecture hour, two lab or experiment per week, except some cases. For instance, calculus one is three credit course, lecture hours of this course is three hours per week. Moreover, full-time students are allowed to take 16 to 19 credits. Uh, in next slide, you can see example of course for SOCI and SO faculties and distribution of credits per course. 
Some subject may be one credit as physics experiment. Some might be two credit as academic English one. Other courses are three credit like calculus one. Also pre-calculus is extra support from IUT. This course assigned instead of calculus one to students with low score during entrance exam. Students will study pre-calculus in fall semester. Next will be calculus one in spring semester and calculus two will be conducted uh, in summer session and it's free for students. Here, a uh, course for so faculty, most of subjects are three credits, just business English one is two credit. 2020 fall semester will be held remotely. Lecture materials, quiz, homework will be managed through e-class system. Lecture videos are available on IoT online lecture service. Also will be conducted real-time intersection sessions once a week. Attendance is mandatory. Students who absence one quarter more than assigned hours for the course are not qualified for the exam and students will be automatically given grade F. Grades distributed as follows. D0 and above is pass. F is fail. If student get F grade on mandatory subject, he or she should retake this fail course and get pass grade before graduating. Otherwise, student cannot graduate. Pre-calculus evaluate as pass or fail, no GPA for this course. In next slide, you can see GPA calculation. Total GPA is determined by credits and grades. For graduating, students should gather at least 130 credits. Professors evaluate students in a variety of methods. All authority over the evaluation is under the professors. As it was mentioned before, you will have midterm and final exam. In different subjects, you will have projects, quizzes, essay, presentation, experiments, and others. Attendance is mandatory. Cheating and plagiarism is a gross academic misconduct. Those students who will cheat on assignment or exams will have serious outcomes such as fail on the course, penalty for other courses, taking away certain points, zero points on exam or assignments, other serious outcome uh, according to the decision of committee of award and penalty. Each semester, IUT gives the Academic Excellence Scholarship to students with good GPA. Ten scholarships for SOC, four of them full scholarships and six half scholarships. Five scholarships for SOL, two of them full, a three of them half scholarships. In order to get academic scholarship, students should complete at least 16 academic credits. In, in the semester should be ranked in top 10 for SOC and top five for SOL in GPA. For the full scholarship, GPA should be 4.0 or above. For half scholarship, GPA should be 3.7 or above. Take note that students who withdraw any course in the semester not eligible to scholarship. In this last slide, you can see all contacts of academic affairs and admission department. And thank you for your attention and welcome to IoT. Thank you, dear students. If you have further questions, you may refer to the contacts that were uh, mentioned uh, previously. Now, I would like to have a presentation for you from uh, Student Affairs Department.
So, dear students, welcome one more time to uh, Inner University in Tashkent. Uh, my name is Khayitova Gulshan. I'm the head of the Student Affairs Department. And to the, from my today's uh, presentation, I would like to inform about the core role of Student Affairs Department. So, in order you to benefit from IUTs, IUT. Uh, so, the role of Student Affairs is uh, previously is work directly with students. Uh, support students on general administrative affairs. Uh, student affairs acts like a bridge uh, between other departments and the students. For example, if you have some questions about IT, you may refer to student affairs in order to with, uh, communicate you with IT uh, department, also solve your problem uh, on time. We always, our doors always uh, open for you. Here you can see the core uh, role and functions of student affairs. It's like student information, counseling, student housing, contest. Um, we will provide some information about classes and contests and challenges, events and projects. Um, of course, we will introduce you with Career Center and uh, with Alumni Association. So um, we uh, always have So, excuse me, just uh, this is uh, the second, uh, the next uh, slide. So, uh, student affairs always need your up-to-date information. Therefore, we ask you to always to uh, update your information, uh, fill in the, uh, questionnaires and surveys in order to we have your uh, the full information about you in of, uh, on our database. So, um, student affairs have uh, always uh, helps uh, with counseling, like uh, uh, we provide you uh, certificates of enrollment, uh, we provide you letters of internships. It's very important. Remember, uh, internship letters is very important for you to start your future career. Letter of recommendation, just Make a little note that uh, we provide, um, namely student affairs can provide you a letter of recommendation only those students who we know about. For example, uh, if students help us on different events or different um, like volunteer work, we uh, with pleasure uh, give them recommendation letter. Uh, so, uh, for to uh, inquire the, these uh, letters or certificate of enrollment or other letters, you may refer to student affairs in a to, in a dot us. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so you should include your student ID, your full name, your phone number in order to, in order to we could contact with you. Telegram username if possible. Letter type. What kind of letter do you need? and the purpose of asking this letter. So, um, student housing. Yes, usually we could provide you with student housing like dormitory, uh, but unfortunately, because of uh, this pandemic, current pandemic, we are not able to provide this service for you temporarily. But we hope that uh, after our uh, studying uh, uh, moved to uh, offline format, we could provide you housing as well. Uh, talking about contests, uh, challenges, events, projects, different kind of projects, of course, IUT have always different kind of uh, contest events, and it's, uh, we have this kind of projects very frequently. And uh, we ask you to participate um, in, in these projects like uh, like volunteer or just participate with your own projects. Uh, in this slide, you can see it just uh, it just information for you that uh, IUT cooperates with these uh, partnership companies. Uh, so it's not the full list of uh, full list of companies. So uh, we usually provide internship programs again. Uh, uh, employment, uh, job opportunities from these companies. So we ask you to be active and uh, 
here we can provide you uh, some information about Career Development Center. We now we have our Career Development Center. Uh, what does it do? Career Development Center provides you with job opportunities. Uh, it may be part-time for students and full-time for our graduates. Collect CVs, uh, resumes of different uh, of students in order to have and uh, form uh, our bank of CVs and resumes. Uh, we could, of course, check your resume. Check, uh, for example, if you. Uh, if you write your resume, we could check, uh, maybe some, make some um, additions or um, corrections. Uh, of, and uh, besides, we have talent bank. Uh, we got a lot of students with uh, ta talented students. So uh, we, uh, we would like to have a talent bank. So uh, if you have any talent, please let us know. Uh, job fair. Uh, about job fair, we usually, not usually, but annually, we conduct different kind of job fairs. Uh, for example, last year and previous, um, uh, in 2018, we had a very big uh, job fairs. Uh, about 1,000 students have participated in this uh, job fair, and more than 50 companies have um, uh, visited this uh, job fair, providing uh, different job opportunities and internship programs, of course. Uh, we usually organize master classes for, uh, for, for our students, uh, calling or uh, inviting uh, guest lectures, uh, company representatives um, uh, from different companies, from, from local companies and from international companies. Um, we usually uh, conduct employability skills workshops, opportunities for employment and internships. So if you have any questions and uh, uh, any inquiries, please uh, refer to Career Center uh, at inat.us. Uh, and as well, we usually um, post, our, um, post our new announcement on our Telegram channel or from Outlook. So Telegram channel, you can see um, under this uh, students in a, here. You can, uh, you can join this Telegram channel in order to, to be uh, informed about latest news. Students promotion. Of course, even though uh, our university is specialized in IT, um, we usually promote our students from different aspects. For example, their talents, if they, ha if they have uh, different businesses. For example, uh, you have a talent or sports uh, or artistic talent, we try to, um, to help develop in this uh, direction, of course, uh, not forgetting about uh, your specialization. Uh, if you have academic achievement, research, works, Olympiad contest, if you're um, some con uh, contest winner, uh, of course, we, uh, we would love to um, promote you, this, your achievements. Uh, besides, and it's very important that if you have any project or business idea or any kind of uh, idea, just a spark of any idea, just let us know because IUT administrations always helps uh, your business to accelerate, um, to grow into real business. And we got lots of successful stories that our students' ideas uh, became a successful business. So uh, we... Um, uh, stimulate, motivate you to uh, be active and uh, use, um, provide the information about your business ideas. Um, so uh, if you're participating in many kind of contests, please uh, also let us know in order to, uh, we could uh, uh, post different uh, announcements on your achievements. We also have in a summer school. Um, in some, uh, we usually have in a summer school at uh, in summer, and this is this has uh, this uh, so, uh, how to say selection of this summer school. There's uh, some kind of conditions. Uh, uh, we could uh, we can uh, announce it later. 
Alumni Association. Just recently, we established a new, our Alumni Association, so our graduate students uh, could share with you their experience, their, their success stories. Uh, so, uh, after graduating, we ask every uh, graduate to have contact with our freshman students and with our actual students in order to keep networking. Here you can see contact information, so please be informed that um, student information is located on third floor, uh, room 302. Uh, and uh, our contact number, as you can see, it's here, the second. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Uh, now, dear students, we move to another presentation. Uh, here's uh, some uh, very note remarkable thing that this presentation is made for first time for you, especially for you. You can even see that this is a project. This is a project, and we didn't share this information with anyone else, uh, anyone, any other students. So you are the first who are sharing this information. Uh, so you can see uh, we're plan we plan to have our student service desk uh, where you can come, come up with any of your questions and solve this uh, on time and on the place. Here you can see the design of this uh, student service desk. Uh, what does it do? It provides to student center support services that meet individual needs and it will be, it will be located uh, at our hall uh, on the first um, A building. You can um, request appeals, uh, submit there, and you can collect your answers from this desk. This is like one window where you can go and solve your problems. And uh, also it plays like inquiry office for you. Here you can see the design of waiting room where you can, where you can uh, be able to wait. Uh, here's also the waiting room for you. It's uh, specially designed for our IUT students. This is a studying room. And of course, canteen, little cafe. So uh, this is a project. We are, plan we are planning to have this project uh, by January. Uh, or at the end, uh, until the end of this year. So, thank you for your uh, attention. So, students, next presentation is from our IT department, Mr. Kanat Simbiyev. So, good afternoon, dear freshmen. Welcome to our team, our family, IUT family. Today I will tell you about the, our rules, IT rules, that uh, you have to um, remember because uh, there is a very short but uh, important rules. Um, Uh, we have some systems, uh, something like a help desk for the students. Uh, there you can get uh, more information about our services. Then every user, every student have uh, ID and password. This password can be used by, uh, for the Wi-Fi network internet and also for the email corporate email 
in in her. ID looks like this. Uh, you two zero zero one and your ID. If I remember all of you getting this ID and password also. For teach uh, for for learning in computer labs, you can visit room A one oh one O A five one four B one O two and B one three. And do not forget to change your password. Mm. For INS and E class, the password not the same like uh, for the Wi Fi and email. This password is different for the E class and INS system. Check regularly your email because there is a lot of information there and uh, your email address looks like this if you see here in the monitor so when you enter to the mail.inha.us you have to enter not your id uh, not your name for the id you have to enter your id looks like this for example like in the yellow if you see so do not forget about that because a lot of students uh, when the first time they entering, they forgot about this. And uh, also, we have a wireless network, Wi-Fi, in our building, in our campus, two campus. Uh, you can visit uh, everywhere here in outside, of course. Uh, when you search the network, please connect to the IoT. A different uh, network is not accessible for you. Uh, when you enter to the browser, you getting like this uh, ID and password entering here. And also, do not forget that you have a limitation for the using four gigabytes per month. So. Otherwise, you can be blocked. Uh, and also, uh, it's very easy, of course, these rules. Uh, do not forget to obey for these rules. And otherwise, we have to make a punishment. So, be uh, be this important. This is very important thing. So if you have some que so any question, and uh, also if you have some uh, issue, uh, you can visit our room and also write to us to email helpdesk.inha.us. And our phone number is 32. That's it. Thank you very much, Mr. Kanat Simbiyev. Now we ask to put presentation from library. So the presentation will be done by Mohid Nur Jamshedova. So please li um, listen carefully. Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is great pleasure for me uh, to um, have a speech here about the Information Resource Center. First of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate you sincerely on um, passing through the examinations. And <clears throat> Information Resource Center Uh, 
uh, Information Resource Center is located in a building on the third floor. Uh, it has uh, more than 18,000 books in various languages. It offers books in, uh, ra in not only in English and Russian, but in German, Arabic, Korean, etc. Uh, you can borrow books at the beginning of the semester, for the whole semester, uh, your educational materials, I mean, but uh, additionally you can um, take the books related to the history, law, uh, philosophy, mass, um, and etc. And uh, Information Resource Center has over 6,000 6, books for your self-study, for your personal development. And there are some uh, rules uh, which you have to adhere by while you are in the library. Uh, first of all, it is not allowed to talk loud. Uh, it is, um, and it is not allowed to whisper as, as well. Um, uh, having discussions with your friends is not allowed as well and eating um, snacks or food uh, is not allowed um, but uh, you can have a drink uh, while you are in the library and using mobile phones playing different computer games uh, are not allowed as well and um, and uh, do not move uh, the furnitures uh, while you are in the library. It is strictly prohibited. And uh, do not litter. Uh, this was the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mohinur. Now we ask our representative of Health Center to have a presentation for you. She prepared some presentation. Uh, finance department, the head of finance department, Ms. Durdona Abjabarova. Uh, good afternoon, dear students. Uh, welcome one more time to our university and uh, congratulations with your, like, uh, with a, um, coming to our university. So, uh, my name is Dordona and I'm head of the of finance department. I will try to speak very briefly. Um, so, what we're going uh, to speak today, I'm briefly talk about our contract, petition, uh, fee payment, and also uh, payment procedures and your ID cards. Usually I want to say that uh, before you're going to start your study, firstly you need to pay your tuition fee. You know, yes, for SOCI faculty, your contract amount is co cost 30, uh, 31 point, uh, 5, 000 million, and for SOL, I'm sorry, I'm mistaken, for SOL it costs 31.5 million, and for SOCI, 30 million. Uh, usually, um, since uh, the, your exam was online and you all got your contract, uh, contracts uh, via Telegram, and I'm kindly, I'm kindly ask you when you have time next week, uh, come to uh, my office department, 701, where you will pick up your contracts and we will give you your, uh, your version of your contracts, so where you have to also sign up. And uh, I kindly ask you to read the contract terms carefully. In the contract terms, they are written all the procedures and the payment amounts, uh, all the, uh, all the <coughs> conditions there. So uh, the deadline for your payments, uh, for your payments, is the 10 days of your uh, 10 days before your new academic start. For example, your new academic start, your uh, winter semester started on 26th of September. So you need to pay for your contract. Is was 18th of September. So the next spring semester, if your spring semester starts on the 8th of February, so you need to pay your contract payments on 
uh, 28th of January, so 10 days before when the new academic starts. Uh, if you're going to know all your uh, balance, uh, account balance, payment details, you can approach accounting department, not finance department. So usually they can check out all, where, all your procedures. Or we have also accounting bot where you can read. So uh, you can, via this bot, you can also see all your payment details. Uh, please make on time your tuition fee payments. If you will not make on time your tuition fee payment, you will not have access to anything as was discussed before, neither to library, neither to the internet, neither to the uh, study. So, uh, and please don't postpone with that, because from this year, the rules a bit started strictly. So if you don't pay or you have a debts in your uh, on your previous semester, you will not have access. So the administration of the university will block uh, to the resources. Uh, and also take into account these pandemic issues and overall the situation in the country and in the Republic of Uzbekistan, the IOT gives you the chance uh, to make uh, your contract like a monthly payment or quarterly payment so you can pay monthly or quarterly based on your financial conditions. And the last one, uh, your ID cards. You know, you will get such kind of ID card from the side of IT department. If you lose it, you need to pay 30,000 of sums. It just costs nothing. If you again lose, you'll pay the same amount. And after thirds of, uh, if, you, if you lose your card th three times, so then we will not give you any cards to you. So please try not to lose them. And uh, again, if you want to make to pay, you should go to the accounting department. Uh, so for that, that's it uh, from finance department. Thank you very much. Good luck in your studies. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear students. Now we invite our SU department, ah, health center. Excuse me, because of some uh, conditions, our, our health department presentation were a little bit moved. So now, presentation from health, de health center. Hi, guys. Hi guys, <laughs> congratulations. Um, I would like to introduce our health center. So our working hours is from uh, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. from Monday to Friday. And um, our units, um, next one please. Um, Thomas. Here's the next one. Next one, please. Asla, you got clicker. Asla, you got clicker. Asla, you got clicker. Asla, you got clicker. Asla, you got So this is me, and this is our um, gym trainer. So if you have free time, you can go to gym. Uh, and this is our psychologist, Terfuzapa. And uh, our health center is, um, you know, if you have any uh, problems, any issues with your health, you can go. I can help you anytime. You can call me. Um, uh, except now, you know, uh, I can show you something. Uh, so, uh, my room number is 140, uh, 5411, and our uh, phone number is 145. So, with any emergency situation, you need to know this number. Um, what else? 
So we can do, uh, we can do any uh, medical manipulations, uh, like if you have any poisoning, any trauma, so you can come to our office. We can help you. Um, what else? Uh, any questions? If you, if you have any questions, please. You can ask me. No questions? Yeah. Yes. Dear students, if you have some questions, you may ask. No questions. Yes. yes, yes, of course. You can come to my office. Room 511. Yes. Yeah. No more questions? Okay. I wish you I wish you all the best and good health. Dear students, please meet our SU, SU uh, representative about SU. Uh, he's going to make a presentation for you. Please. So, greeting, ladies and gentlemen. Now, already students of Inai University, one of the best and prestigious institutions in our country, in the Central Asia. So you made a great work and a great step forward. So give a massive applause to yourself. <laughs> My name is Sergei Tsoi, and uh, I'm an acting president of IT Students Union. So we are the representatives, so we are the similar students, students that have, uh, may have the same problems, uh, some various issues, and so on. And so we are here to help you to support you on this, on this uh, incredible way, this four-year study in university. So today, we prepared a special uh, presentation for you in order to introduce yourself. So please watch carefully, and if you will have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Good afternoon, dear freshmen. Now let's talk about Students' Union. Our presentation will consist of the following parts. Introduction, our field of activity, conducted events, explanation of the definition of a club, last year clubs, and how to join our team. Students' Union is a student organization which is aimed to develop and maintain meaningful, imaginative, reciprocal, and sustainable relationships with IUC students in and out of the classroom in an effort to engage students, enable a free and independent student voice, contribute towards their educational journey while in the university, and foster success during their studies and beyond. The Students' Union covers various areas, such as entertaining events, sport activity, student support, voluntary works, and so on. Here is the full structure of the Students' Union. President, Vice President, Student Engagement Department, Volunteer Department, Entertainment Department, and Sport Department. Student Engagement Department is providing all kinds of support on student issues, 
Student engagement works closely with student representatives and university staff. Their role is to develop new ideas and opportunities for student involvement, to provide consultation and support on academic and social issues. No matter which kind of issue you have, you're welcome to appeal to the Student Engagement Department via our email. What our sport department does is an organization of a different kind of sport competition to make not only your brain, but your body strong as well. Volunteer department is a place where any IUC student can use his or her capabilities during different events in order to get a huge experience and some certificate, which is very useful when one applies for a master's degree. Entertainment department is the one that is responsible for our students' joy and happiness. Members of the department organize different events and create clubs for students. The main goal of this is to escape a gray routine of a study. Let's mention the most notable events conducted last year. Orientation Day is an event of meeting of freshmen. Now it's you guys. On this day, students of elder courses tell freshmen everything about the university life, show the campus and tell some life hacks. Teacher's Day, a holiday to give the honor to our dear professors and teaching staff. The tradition of the celebration of this bright holiday is strong because we are proud of those who share their knowledge with us. One more holiday for you guys. Once you got used to the university life and studies, our freshmen have a party prepared specially for them. They're already acquainted with each other. Everybody can have a great pleasure feeling all the advantages of the university life. Every year, IUT celebrates the International Women's Day. It's a bright and joyful holiday where we congratulate our matchless and unrivaled women. What is a club? A student's club is a free will social nonprofit association of IUT students. The main goal of creating different clubs is to make students' life more joyful, happy, and colorful. Basketball club is a place where any IUT student can just go and enjoy one of the most popular sport activities in the world. No matter whether you have never carried a ball in your hands or have you been playing this game from your early childhood, there is a place for you. By the way, the most successful club residents will get an opportunity to join IUT basketball team, Wild Wings. Cheerleading club is a place where beautiful ladies of our university gather to dance in a fiery company. The doors of this club are open for every girl, regardless of kinesthetics or dance experience. If you're a dance lover, we are waiting for you. The club was created so that after a long day of learning, people could gather and listen or play to music, chat, joke, and have fun. We are the friends that have the same passion. If you also want to share your love towards music with people, welcome to the club. Literature Club. If you write poetry, short prose, stories, just like to read, then the Literature Club is waiting for you. Join, get inspired, and love books. Movie Club. A club for moviegoers, film lovers, and just for those who are not averse to having a good time with friends. How to join us? The procedure is simple. Firstly, fill in and send an application form. Be patient and wait for a response. Pass an interview with student union representative. Get a result. And now you can finally become a part of the student's union. Student's union will soon post a list of vacancies that each of you can apply for. Stay tuned. Follow us on the social media. And thank you for the attention. Good luck. We wish you all the best. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you one more time. And let us one more time congratulate all of you because today 
you start a new chapter of your life here in IoT, this is the way to become a future specialist, future engineers, future entrepreneurs. So please don't be shy and don't be afraid. So work hard and make us all be proud of you. Thank you. And please, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. No questions, really? <laughs> okay, then, so, so thank you very much and good luck all, to all of you. Thank you very much for your attention. Now we planned a campus tour for you. So be seated for a while. Each volunteer will take, take 